Behind the splendid achievements in all theatres of war of the men from India lies the story of their training. We have long admired the physical standard of these soldiers, and when it comes to the execution of their jobs as fighting men, few troops are their equal. We're going to show you some of the training sappers and miners of the Indian Army receive. They are, in truth, the lifeline of any attacking force. Sappers and miners are concerned mainly with problems. First of all, the problem of getting troops and transport across a water obstacle. Bridgeheads have to be formed, and the means of carrying a whole battalion across a river made available in a few minutes. Apart from all this, every soldier is taught a trade, which will be invaluable to him on his return to civilian life. Here are some of the trades they are taught. Blacksmiths are still mighty men. Sign writing and poster work. Wheelwrights and iron workers. Oxyacetylene welding. Brick making. Brick laying and building, which takes in the many skilled jobs of carpentry. Typesetting and printing press instruction for future newspaper workers. Civil engineering studies include draftsmanship and surveying, both of which are invaluable in their army occupation. Road building links in closely, as a good road is essential for the maintenance of communications. And this looks like where we came in. But bridge building is not only a wartime occupation. There's going to be a lot of work for sappers and miners when it's all over. These are the men who, rightly known as the handymen of the army, will help to build a new world.